night four of Hanukkah. Why, when we've got this beautiful lamp that we could light up all the way, why don't we light all the candles and, you know, and really enjoy the thing? There was actually an argument about lighting the menorah. Two great teachers had an argument about it. Shammai, some of you may have heard of Shammai, Shammai argued that we should light all the candles on the first night and then decrease by one candle each night. Hillel disagreed, partly because Hillel always disagreed with Shammai, but Hillel disagreed. And he said, we should begin with just one candle. The academy voted and Hillel's view prevailed. Later, his students taught that we light that way because in matters of sanctity, we always increase. I might also add that this is part of Jewish wisdom. Joy increases, sanctity increases, good things increase. We are about making wonderful things happen more, not watching as wonderful things fade away. So tonight, we're going to be at the middle point where light is balanced with the dark. We've seen the lights increase for the past four nights, but there are still as many empty sockets on the lamp as there are candles burning. Hanukkah takes time. We're not allowed to rush it. We're not allowed to light more candles than the day provides. In our world right now, we're accustomed to speed. Hanukkah calls us to slow down. We light the candles and we may not perform work by their light. Now, partly we've got our handy little shamash that we use to light the other candles and it will take care of covering any, any work that accidentally gets done. But the real, the real discipline is to stay while those candles are lit, life stops for a little while and we pay attention to each other and we pay attention to having fun. We play for eight nights. We have to stop and enjoy ourselves. Poor things, we have to stop working. In the age of smartphones, this is no small thing. Perhaps the best gift of Hanukkah is the habit it offers us. For a little while every night, we pause to play. <laughs>